hi guys this is Georgia here welcome to my channel um, today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day face painting tutorial um, but obviously it's now after Valentine's Day so you could use this design for anything I'm sure all girls would like it and also boys if you switched up the colours a bit um, so yeah just it's, please excuse my voice I'm sick at the moment and there's also a bit of background noise with the washing machine but hopefully we can get on and do the tutorial anyway um, so the first thing you see me doing here is I'm using paradise white paint um, and a BAM stencil this is the kind of graffiti splash one um, I think it's number let me see number 18 um, and I'm just going to go all round in kind of a mask shape, um, just around the top of the eyes and down the sides, um, just creating this first colour of base. Because um, we're going to be doing this this exact technique a few times with a few different colours, just to get a nice layered effect. Um, but yeah, but first of all, I'm going to round with the lightest colour, um, which is the white, obviously. Um, just round, stippling the colour on. Uh, you don't want your paint to be too um, wet because it will just you won't get the pattern through the stencil. Um, so just kind of nice thick paint, and you don't want your sponge to be too saturated because again it will run down. Um, so yeah, you'll see me just picking out the shapes that I want going round. Um, you don't have to take this long. I was just being quite particular here um, about where how I put the shapes down. Um, and also you don't have to use a stencil, you could actually do this freehand, just kind of with some runnier paint, just um, do some dots that you know are going to run down. Um, but me being quite a messy person, I thought that will end up in disaster, so I just use a stencil. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm using the Paradise paint, I think it blends really well, um, and it smells of coconuts, which is an added bonus. Um, but you don't have to use Paradise, you can use any white paint. Um, also like... Um, any wolf or tag paints, um, you know, all the brands do a nice white. So, um, and that's just a regular face painting um, sponge, just cut in half. I think I get mine, these ones from um, facepaintdirect.co.uk. So I'll leave the link down below. But yeah, they're just a regular face painting sponge. I kind of left the middle of my forehead free because we're going to do a nice big heart there which is going to be the centrepiece of the design so I didn't waste my time kind of um, putting the stencil down there but yeah once you're happy with the colour um, you can move on to the next bit um, you don't have to do this much as I said if you've got a long queue lots of people waiting then you don't have to go on for this long but it's just for the purpose of the tutorial um, so here you'll see me loading a flat brush um, with split cake um, the split cake I used here was tag rose but in the past I've also used um, prisma cake in fleur um, so yes yeah, so just loading that back and forth um, yeah I mean most face painters most of you face painters have a split cake with these colours and it's just a dark pink going up to a white um, and then you'll see me do a kind of um, 90 degree um, kind of markings where I want the heart to finish begin and end and then I'm just going to do some um, almost like a shell shape motion um, into the middle just to create this heart effect um, and I love split cakes because they just they make it look like you've done so much more work than you actually have um, so yeah I, I kept the red on the bottom for this design um, and then we're going to go to the sides and do a couple of hearts on the side of the face. And I actually flip the brush for the second lot of hearts because just to make it look the design look a bit more diverse and like I've used more colours and more split cakes than I actually have, just switches it up a bit. Um, you need to keep your brush nice and wet with paint. As you can see there, my brush is splitting. It makes it a lot more difficult to get your colour down um, when you haven't loaded your brush properly. Um, so I'm going back in now with that same stencil and just some pink paint. Um, I'm using tag um, tag paint, I think it's rose pink that I used here. And again, um, just going back in with my sponge, stippling in the colour. Um, I said earlier about using this design for a boy. Um, what I've done is used, for the hearts, so I used black and red. And then doing the stencils, I didn't use the pink I just went from white into red 
and then you'll see later on in the design the black as well um and it because it's kind of the graffiti style um it's a little bit more boyish i think you can get away with it especially at valentine's day for a boy um so yeah and you can also switch this design up as well by not having the heart and doing like a any kind of centerpiece so like a, a rose would go well with like the barbed wire because it looked like fawns um so yeah use your imagination um, but I really, the main thing about this design, I really love the background um, that this stencil creates. Um, it's, I think it feels quite current and um, I think it'd be quite popular with teenagers or even young adults. So yeah, just going around with the colour. I didn't use as much of this because um, I still wanted the white to show through underneath. And we're also going to go in with another colour, the red, over the top of that. Um, a little word of warning here. Um, the mistake I made in this design wait until when you're using lots of different bases wait until the first colours dry because here what i done is I went straight in with that red when the pink hadn't dried and you'll see it transfers all over my face um, from the back of the stencil so you can see that it's on the top of my lip um, and it goes onto the, my forehead as well creating a huge mess so yeah word of warning you can do something else in the design just to speed it up while you're waiting for the colours to dry um, so maybe going on with your highlights or your, your details that kind of thing um, so yeah just going around with the red again I didn't use as much of the red as I did the white and pink um, just because I didn't want it to overpower and lose the other colours I'd put down So here might be, um, you can tell it's only my second YouTube video, the filming is appalling, definitely no Spielberg yet. Um, but basically what I'm doing is I'm going in with my Wolf black paint and a, a local nail round brush, um, quite a, I think it's a size 3. Um, and I'm just kind of outlining the heart in this kind of barbed wire effect. Um, because you can't see it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link below with kind of like an inspiration board of the things I use to help me create this design. And it's just some thin to thick to thin lines. Um, and in between those lines, I've just done three dots and then four flicking lines outward to make it look like barbed wire, basically. Um, I've, I've kind of done some intertwining to make it look look a bit more interesting a bit more complicated um and i outlined those hearts at the side like so um yeah so just a flick so you don't have to do four flicks if you haven't got the room you can do more of the actual barbed wires if you wanted to um i just i suppose i was getting a bit impatient here and just um wanted to get that black down quickly Yeah, sorry again for this appalling filming. Um, I will get better at filming if you continue to watch my videos. Hopefully I'll develop this a bit more. But yeah, just four flicks outwards. And I kind of made it all a bit jaggedy looking. Um, didn't keep all my lines like neat and the same just to make it look a bit, as I said, like darker and rougher than your average Valentine's Day design doesn't have to be perfect as well with all those splashes in the background it's not a it's not a kind of a clean cut design um so we don't worry about too much and just going around that third heart with the black paint um nice and thin on the brush to create a thin line Yeah, I just kind of toweled those lines off in more of a whimsical effect at the bottom. Um, and another thing I've done in the past as well, which I didn't do when filming this, uh, especially on the boy designs, because the heart in the middle is so big, I've kind of, I've done um, kind of squiggly lines, like a broken heart from the, the, the apex of the heart at the bottom going up. Um, so that's another option. Um, to change up the design of this one um, since it does look like a kind of a bleeding heart kind of effect 
Um, so now I'm just going in with my wolf white. Um, yeah, just putting in some highlights of those hearts um, and just going around kind of a few of the barbed wire um, squiggle things. Um, not so much highlights for those, but just to kind of add a bit of contrast, makes them stand out a bit more. Um, very light on the brush because you really don't want this to overpower the black that you've put down. Um, and I think I was using the same size brush here, so you really don't want you want them to be less uh, thinner lines than the black. And again, outlining, just doing a highlight to that heart. Here you could go in with a few more kind of dots and splatters um, where you think there might be a bit of extra space because um, you don't want to leave any open space in the design. You want it to flow nicely um, and keep kind of all the skin covered up where you want it to be. Um, and you, I didn't film it, but you'll see in the next um, photo that I went down with some um, drips from the bottom of the heart to make it look more of like a bleeding heart kind of um, design. So, oh, and I also added some lipstick and some glitter, of course. Um, so yeah, that that's the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Um, as I said, I hope to get better at filming these um, and share some of the designs because I've spent so long watching other people's YouTube videos and learning so much um, and developing my face painting from those that I want to give back and start sharing with you guys. Um, and we can all inspire each other. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, subscribe if you want some more face painting tutorials. Um, and like this video if you liked it and thanks again very much for watching um i hope you can use this design soon um thanks again bye